Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the room, and today we are making a little bit of beer. Bacon gesture is in there being prepared. So we've been quite busy. We obviously opened the doors on Saturday for the return of the um, customers to the pub, and it was quite an event. Uh, so as you can see, looking up there, we're in full tilt, pun intended, to get as much beer flowing as possible. So we've got seven, as of today, seven of the eight tanks full. So yeah, as I was saying, we opened up again on Saturday. It was a strange affair. I actually uh, took the day off myself and had a few drinks at the same time and uh, I must say everybody was really well behaved and uh, it worked pretty much seamlessly so uh, we are gonna really be testing the water this week I think properly when we get a true reflection of what kind of numbers we're gonna be looking at because of course last week everyone was somewhat excited to be coming back out to the pub again uh, but yeah I mean it's worked it looks all right so far so I think we're gonna just continue doing what we're doing. We've opened with reduced hours, unfortunately, but looking at the response we've had, I don't think it's gonna be long before we're back open full time and hopefully bring in the chefs back as well so we can have, uh, we resume food service. So I'll just show you a little bit of what's going on around the brewery while I talk to you and let you catch up a little bit. I'm sure this is a bit more interesting than just seeing my old mug. So yeah, there's the transfer happening in there. Uh, so yeah, it's been quite good. Uh, I've been busy as well last week canning beers. So the labeler works a treat. The seamer works a treat. The brewery website is live, but you can't order anything on there yet. Although somebody cheekily managed to get in and hack the site somehow. Find a page that wasn't published and put an order in, plonkers. Anyway, you shouldn't be able to do that now. Uh, but yeah, it won't be long. I'm just waiting for all these cans to condition. And then hopefully they will end up on the site and we'll be able to send out at least vacant gesture and proof of concept, but I don't have that, ma that much proof of concept in stock yet. So that, boys and girls, is what we're working on in this tank here. This is housing, look at the hoppage. This is housing proof of concept, and we've got here two tanks of vacant gesture, and over the way there, we've got proof, proof, and then today, vacant going in there. So we should have enough to continue canning. Next week, I'm hoping to get uh, all these cans here filled up with proof of concept. So uh, we've got just over half a pallet. Probably do some more vacant as well. But we didn't brew enough proof of concept for the opening and for canning at the same time so i had to prioritize sending that into the pub uh, what have we done in the brewery folks i mean you can't really notice anything different drastically we've pushed the canning machine and everything over there into the corner this works really well actually a lot of people i think are new to the channel and they don't understand how we've set this canning machine up or maybe they've missed a couple of episodes of the vlog so they're a little bit confused but yeah we do have the purging system in place that's what this tube here is doing people have been asking are you are you purging the cans before you fill them are you filling them carbonated are you capping on foam surely there should be a squirt of co2 afterwards to make some foam well all of those uh, ideas were in place when we designed this system and what happens at the moment is we purge the cans with CO2 for several seconds. Then we start filling from the bottom. Uh, and then the idea was to have a quick blast of CO2 at the end 
to agitate the beer and create some foam. But when you're filling the beer straight out of tanks and it's not carbonated and we're can conditioning, then all that short blast of CO2 at the end tends to do is just blow out a bit of beer from the top of the can. So what we did instead was cut the tubes back and that last blast of CO2 now just drops a blanket of CO2 on the can as the filler rods retract, allowing us to put the caps on, or the, the can lids on, these things here, as fast as possible before oxygen gets in there. And then once we put the lids on, the next three cans slide along and they are 90% safe before they arrive at the seamer. And there generally isn't a long queue here of cans to go onto the seamer. So yeah, I suppose if we were carbon, uh, packaging semi-carbonated beer, that short blast of CO2 would be ideal for agitating the beer and creating some foam. But at the minute it didn't work out that way, so we've dialed it back. Uh, let's have a think then. So yeah, I've changed the way we dry hop in the beers. We've got a little pump down here, just one of the brew pumps, he's just in there, if you can see him. And what we've been doing when we've dry hopped the beer is I've been hooking up the pump to take beer out of the racking arm and pump it back in through the takeoff port at the bottom. And by doing that, we're recirculating the hops around the beer. And the results of that, which were uh, the first time we did it, the first instance we did it was on the three beers that we made in these tanks which has all gone into cask and can now. All the results are excellent and I must say they have indeed worked a treat. So yeah, just a quick update folks, there we go, nothing special today. I just thought I'd touch base with you all and let you know what's going on. Uh, the dogs are fine, by the way, I've got some video of them. Uh, to put up sooner or later. Don't know when that's gonna go up. But as you can understand, we've been really busy with all these projects. We've got kegs carbonating down here in this absolute spider web of wires. I've got more cans to take off and, uh, you know, to fill, all that kind of stuff. So it's been really busy and uh, yeah, it's working. Thanks for your support anyway, guys. I'm just gonna sign off now because I'll waffle otherwise. Uh, but I thought I'd just touch base so you know what the crack is. And uh, well, we'll see you on a more relaxed vlog soon, I hope, when things return back to normal somewhat. Cheers.